All right, so here we are in Didder's workshop, and uh, we're going to do some knots. First, we'll start off with a string and a, and a loop to make it uh, a little bit easier to follow. So, what knot are we doing today, Didder? Uh, what we do is uh, we call it a blood knot. Uh, there's also, uh, you can call it a double blood knot, but we found through testing the strength of it that single blood knot is the best, gave us full strength of the line. Right. Because uh, what happens, the, the only difference between a single blood knot and a double blood knot, you put the uh, line through the loop, through the hook twice. And what we found uh, in the process, like, if it stays like that, it's safe. But in the process, while you're doing the rest of the procedure, sometimes these two lines, they cross each other. And what we found, they actually cut each other when we tried measuring the strength. Right. So we, did, we found that with a single blood knot was the safest and it gave us full strength of the line. Just put it through once, give yourself plenty length to play with, and just uh, we found one, two, three, four, and that we found that to work the best. You can get up to six, anywhere between three and six is pretty safe. But we found uh, with six gave us too much of knotting there, so four we found most comfortable. Mm -hmm. Then we put, well, after we twisted, say four times, we put that through that loop, mm -hmm. and then back through here. Mm -hmm. And that's single blood knot. Mm -hmm. And then just tuck tighten that twist a little bit and just pull it till you get down to the hook pull that nice and tight you can do that with your with your teeth and that's a single blood knot mm -hmm. so there's nothing there that's gonna they're not gonna cut each other this is not gonna pull out because it went through the loop twice mm -hmm. but we did find with some real slippery waxy fishing line uh, even that pulled through so what we found uh, we'll show you later on the actual fishing line if you happen to have a cigarette lighter with you just burn the end of that that forms like a little bubble on the end and that will stop any line from pulling through there so yeah that's the knot that we found the strongest and the safest okay and you can tie that on Monofilament line, braided line, all sorts any, of line? Any line, yeah. yeah? You, you can use that to join the line as well. Okay. Yeah, because you've got a nice and tidy uh, knot when you join the line. So you <clears throat> and leave, leave a bit of a loop there and then connect the other line through it and do another blood knot there. That's a good join uh, for, if you want to join the line. Right. Say, for example, if you want to uh, run a float, Right. and that will stop the flight from going down too far and that sort of situation right so this is a big gang hook isn't it you wouldn't normally do this for yeah. ordinary beach fishing like flathead no, or no, something you like that you do that on any any sort of fishing any line any any hook right you do the same thing put it through the eye And like I said, give yourself plenty tile there to play with. What I normally do is just grab it like that. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And then through there, just grab it there with your fingers, put it back through here. Just pull it a little bit tight. And it's always good to lubricate it a little bit with a special moisturizing thing. Just fold that up, and you can see it. Just push it down, and there it is. And like I said, uh, you normally cut it off about there, and then use a, a lighter. And just if, if you watch carefully, you watch what happens. It forms a little 
bubble in the end, mm -hmm. and that stops it from pulling through there if, if your line is very slippery. Okay. Yeah. Make sure that um, that bubble dries up, uh, cools down. Mm -hmm. Make sure it cools down before you start using it. Yeah. 